first we'll go for it. Uh, we don't know charges. Charges will be of like this Q1, Q2. I think th there's one basic method. A strict condition is what like a charge must be conserved, no? So can we conserve a charge of shell B? No, because it's related, not possible. Can we conserve a charge of shell A and C? A charge of shell A and C are conserved because they're joined by a wire. Uh, the, the, here I'm showing this particular jump means the wire is not connected to the wire is not connected to shell B. The shell C and B are connected by a conducting wire and shell B is earth. It finds the charge on all surfaces. So the wire, this conducting wire is not connected to shell B. Hmm? There's a condition. Hmm. Okay, now. Uh, Sir, so, in exams also, if uh, he also wants to intend that uh, uh, there is no wiring connected to shell B. He so will this also is a symbol. This is a symbol. Thinking, sir. Yeah, this is a symbol. Yes, sir. There's a one proper electric symbol what we use. Yes, sir. It's a convention, better say. Old convention. Okay, still we'll, we'll uh, follow this. A charge of shell A and C are converted. Charge of what was the charge given? Minus Q plus 3Q. So final charge will be Q1 plus Q4 plus Q5. So this should become 2Q is equal to Q1 plus Q4, Q5. Okay, this is the one thing. Huh? Then afterwards. <coughs> A shell which is altered, potential of that should be zero. And shells which are connected by where potential of that should be equal. I think we'll write a few more equations. We'll see what we'll get it. I shall be potential of shall be should be zero. Why it is out there, no? Shall be is out there. So potential of shall be. So this will be KQ1 by 2R, KQ2 by 2R, 2R. KQ4 by 3R plus KQ5 by 3R, all that's equal to zero. Q1 plus Q2 should be? We'll see what all will end up. There's the one equation what we have. Or can we draw any Gaussian surface and get relation between Q1 and Q2? Can we apply or we should not apply here? Yes, Q1 plus Q2 must be equal to zero. Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, Q4 should be zero. Okay, now, now get into, let's come for other side, what we had <coughs> some discussions like Q1 plus Q2 must be zero. Any reason? By drawing a Gaussian surface in the material of Shelby, the net charge in the net field inside the material of Shelby should be zero. So therefore, Q1 plus Q2 will come similarly, Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4 equals zero. Substituting that here, zero. Therefore, Q3 plus, I think these are going to help us a lot. Then one more equation, potential of shell A should be equal to potential of shell C. VA equal to VC. Potential of shell A will calculate. KQ1 by R. Oh, okay, okay, this one. Yeah, KQ1 by R. KQ2 by 2R. KQ2 by Q3 by 2R. Q1 
4 by 3r. This should be equal to kq1 by 3r. Potential of shell C. Omni unknowns are there, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. <coughs> okay, we can solve with all the, the data what we have. I think Q5 will be zero. Any reason how, how we can say Q5 will be zero? We can't say no. This quantity will become zero. How? For from here, this data. You have to solve all the set of equations. Q1 plus Q2 will be zero. Okay, take help of this. So we'll get relation between Q3, Q4, Q5. Here Q1, Q4, Q5. Here Q1 plus Q2, Q3, Q4, this will be zero. So we'll get here Q5 will be there. Here Q4, okay, this will get canceled, no? Yeah. Okay, this quantity, this quantity will get eliminated. Q1 plus Q2 will be zero. Then we get relation between Q3 and Q4. Okay, then we can solve here. Anybody solve it? Uh, just give me the answer. A Q1, Q by 2. <laughs> so Q2 will be minus Q by 2. Check all this. Anybody solve it and give the answer. Huh? Let, let me wind up this question after getting the answer. Inverted value Q3. You can, you can you can do one thing q3 plus q4 plus q5 is how much 2q minus q1 substitute here q1 plus q2 is 0 and i given value of q1 substitute will get q3 very, very easy simple calculations after so here so here this quantity will be 0 so you have q5 so okay yeah this will get cancelled out this will be 0 this will be zero, this will be zero. O only we'll get relation between these two. Can you solve it later on? I'll proceed to the next question. Huh? Ah, this is one more very fundamental one. Q1 
4Q1, 4Q by 11, huh? Oh, I'll, I'll change it. I, I don't know. Some... Q1, 4Q by 11. Uh -huh. Q3 minus 5Q1. Check answer later on. Okay, there may 